I put it on as often as I could for the last two months since I got it. And suddenly I didn't have pain. And I started walking without the walker. And it, to me, this is a miracle. Hey, Kay, thanks for coming to spend some time with me today. You're very welcome. So can you start off by telling us a little bit about how you were feeling prior to coming to QHS? I can. Uh, I am a, a caregiver of a lady with advanced Parkinson's. And a year ago, I fell and broke my hip in a slip and fall in a bathroom and a public bathroom, which gave me a good legal case. And I started going to physical therapy and so on, but she needed me to come back sooner than was right for me. And I came home and started taking care of her while I was using a walker. And I did not get off the walker, even though I tried to still do physical therapy, I couldn't get off the walker. And all the doctors kept saying, you should be off by now. I know many people who have had broken hips like what I got, and they're healed in at least a month or three months or so on. And here I was 11 months later, absolutely dependent on a walker. Oh, wow. The, the, the medical people kept sending me to get MRIs and x-rays, and they said, there's nothing wrong with you. We don't know why you still have pain when you're walking and you have to have the walker. And they had no explanation at all whatsoever. And then I got the device. I got this device. Nice. The Parkinson's lady joined too, but she didn't get one in the mail. I got one in the mail. Now the darn thing does not hold any charge. You have to leave it plugged in. And even when you leave it plugged in, the light goes red frequently. The, okay, we'll talk about that after. Okay, so I, I, I put it on as often as I could for the last two months since I got it. And suddenly I didn't have pain. Really? Suddenly the pain was gone and I started walking without the walker. And it, to me, this is a miracle. Nobody had any explanation or knew what to do. I went to physical therapy and they said, you should still use it because you're still lopsided. But I said, okay, I'll still use it, but I don't have to use it. And for the first time, I'm still caregiving and I have to put the walker in the trunk of the car, lift it out, lift her wheelchair out. It's just a horrendous procedure I've been in. And suddenly I don't have to. And nice. I still astonished and I'm so excited I'm so excited to see it working on me it really is working on me and I'm so happy well I am so amazed that you continued to be a caregiver even though you needed care yourself with you know having pain and being in a walker that's you're a remarkable woman just for that alone <laughs> well you know she would have had to hire somebody that she did hire somebody while I was in the hospital, but then it just got too much. She said, I can't afford it. Nobody will be here to take care of me. So I came home and Aww. started doing it. But I mean, it's okay with the walker. I mean, I can get around with it, but I, I was getting really scared. I thought, how am I ever going to get off of this? I, I don't want to be disabled for life like this. I should be healed like other people with hip surgery. Yeah. Nobody. Nobody. I went to chiropractors, every kind of doctor. I've had every time kind of picture taken of the bones. And all the doctors said, well, you, the operation was successful. I said, yeah, but I can't walk. Nothing happened until I got the little device. And so then the quantum time wave changed it, read your body and figured out the problem that the doctors couldn't find. That's yeah. amazing. We don't know what it was, but it figured it out. And I am so relieved. I was getting very, very frightened that I was always going to be that way. And I'm not, it's already changed. Hallelujah. So I feel so lucky. 
That's <laughs> great. Ahead. Have you noticed anything else since using your device? Yes. My hands were also injured in the uh, fall and they are so much better because I, I braced with my hands and had very bad sprained thumbs. They also did not get better during all this time. They didn't get better and now they're better. Now I'm, I'm putting it on near my hands. I don't know if it helps to get it close to them or not, but I do that. And I do it every night and I wake up in the morning and I'm not in pain in my hands. That's nice. They say that that is really important to put it close to something oh, and that that helps, but you don't have to, okay. you know, okay. but that's, that's amazing. And let me, so the lady that you take care of, she, hers is probably in the queue and going to be shipped out soon. I would imagine. Yes. Right. Yes, uh, it is. And she has very advanced Parkinson's with something called deep brain stimulation where they operate on you, put wires in your brain that go in your body down to a thing that's kind of like when you have a heart pacer. Ah. And they, they electric shock you three times a minute. Oh, and geez. She had such advanced Parkinson's that she would have had to be put in a home. It was so horrible. And this, this horrible electric, electric shock did stop it enough so that she could stay home and continue to be taken care of. But she can't wait either. She can't even believe it could happen. But um, I talked to one of the volunteers named Chrissy who said her father had it. And so she's looking forward to the idea this lady could be in there. I mean, I'm 76 and she's 78. And so we're both looking so forward to being 30 just like Cynthia wants to be 30 again <laughs> yeah I bet and um I interviewed somebody who has Parkinson's and she couldn't wash her own hair right and I by using that. oh you heard that one yeah, okay yeah I heard that one and neither can this lady she can't do a damn thing she can't do anything so yeah <laughs> that's amazing I'll send you some other stuff about what I've discovered um, in my journeys, but yeah, so hopefully those will all be starting to ship next week, according to Wade and she'll, I'm sure hopefully be in that first batch so that, you know, cause he's going to be able to send out 500. I, that's so exciting. And, you know, I also heard that with advanced neurological, you can't just leave it on all the time. So I'm looking forward to getting those exact instructions. You have to do it intermittently or it's just too disturbing with advanced neurological oh i didn't know maybe that. Like that yeah maybe I, you have to baby step like kind of titrate it up a little it bit a titrating suggestion exactly okay cool so now you get to take all of these all the wisdom you've gained over the last 70 years and experience and knowledge and excitingly, you know, you brought up the 30 year old body. So we get a do over coming up here pretty darn quick. Yeah. I, I'm in, I'm in Ron's group too, like you, you know, so I've been in it forever. Cause I thought, Oh my God, this is my calling. So, uh -huh. and I was getting really scared. I, I don't want to be like this and go try to sign people up. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. Well, I mean, I feel like you know, they need us. They need the humanitarians. The Alliance needs all of us for boots on the ground, you know, helping people. So we need to be, you know, as healthy as we can be. That's right. It will, you'll get attention that you need to get because of that, It'll, you know, without having to, here's proof of funds, just, I'm so beautiful and I'm so wonderful. <laughs> I'm so energetic and I want you to be too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fronts, so it's wonderful. Oh, right. We need to be healthy and energetic to be able to get all of our work done. So it's yeah. exciting. What are you looking forward to the most, Kay? You mean in getting healed? Yeah. After QARC, what are you looking forward to? Well, I, I, uh, I, my profession was teaching opera and singing and I, I taught everybody else, but I've always wanted to do more performing myself so i'm looking to be looking forward to being 30 and having my full operatic voice back and being able to do that that's just one of many things that's the selfish one i have 
<laughs> Good. I, we need, we all need a selfish one. Sometimes <laughs> it's hard for us to get it out and there's nothing selfish about self-care, right? right. It's yeah. selfless actually. Yes. Yeah. So, I want it so I can do more for others because I, I want to have that ability. Absolutely. Yeah. Beautiful. I always say, I hope that that 30 year old model that they did all this has a good voice. Cause I would love to be able to sing. Well, and you know, I'm a good teacher. You should let me know. <laughs> okay. But it should, should know how the instrument works to be able to sing because they think it's just what you're born with or not, but it's not. I, my motto on my business card is I can teach anyone to sing. And nice. And, it, and I've proven it. And I, I'd help them with public speaking or anything. So that their voice carried and had the right resonance. Yeah. Oh, wow. So you have, you're multi-talented. <laughs> well, it was my profession and I had a lot of success in it. So Aww. I wasn't looking forward to teaching. It didn't even occur to me. I thought I'd like to sing, but I thought I've got to pass on the knowledge so it can be taught by others too. Oh, beautiful. Well, that's really fun. So but you're looking forward to being able to sing again. What sing. else, Kay? Well, you know, I, I have all these plans with Love One Society of what I want to do. And it, I, I live in Hollywood because I'm a screenwriter. When uh -huh. I retired from teaching, I became a screenwriter. So I moved to Hollywood and then the COVID nonsense started. And I've just been biding my time, but I was about to go in production and we had no production happened. It's still nowhere production movie production isn't normal since covid started it's mm -hmm. stopped cold so we couldn't produce so i'm looking forward to producing those films which are human my humanitarian projects and to getting all the oh, 2000 small theaters going again it's it's art project mainly in music and art and theater that i have for my loved one society desires and to get other places funded that have arts in them to get them funded worldwide so we're all classic arts are coming back so those we're are gonna have to connect what? um have you heard of freeze magazine f-r-e-e-z-e -E -E. f-r-i-e-z-e -E. it's an art magazine no i have not Oh my gosh. So it's a massive international art magazine. My son is an editor for it. And his girlfriend is, her name's Olivia Erlanger. She is a famous artist. And so they're totally in that art world. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. Well, we will connect them. Yeah. That's so fun. Okay. Oh, he has such a fun job. He goes to art shows you know, like today she has an opening in New York City and then like she has another show in LA and another one in Texas. So they just bebop all over and, you know, go to art shows. They're going to like Buenos Aires. I know oh. I said that wrong, but um, Buenos Aires in um, August. So super fun stuff. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Cool. Awesome. So you're going to do a humanitarian project for, with the art scene. That's really nice. With the art scene. And um, my very uh, profound person dentist is dying to know more of it. So she, she can do it too. And of course, when I, by the time I told her you couldn't join, but she's going to as soon as it's open to for her to become a member of, uh, uh, because... She's already got all the facilities to set up the healing beds in her place. And she wants to do it from what I told her. Wonderful. Well, You're I'm connected to that, you know, and I, we have other, the, the lady, the Parkinson's lady, she has a huge property office building and she says she wants to do a healing center there. So she, she's got all the facilities, all the land and all the office space to open a healing center with healing beds is she part of lws too she isn't because but she would be if she could but she's the parkinson's is so bad i don't involve her in 
too much. She knows. I said, I'm applying for a job. I don't know if I get it. So we'll get it yet. And that's when I have the meeting, right? And, and that's how I said, it's a, a humanitarian job that I will do, helping billionaires to distribute their money to worthy projects. So, oh, good. <laughs> and I said, so I'm applying for the job and I don't have it yet, but I, I might be able to get it. <laughs> And Perfect. So I'm very excited about that. But with simply with the quantum healing uh, beds, I told her we're going to be looking for places for centers. And she says, well, I've got my office building. I can totally do a center. And she wants to. So once she gets to go on it herself, she's going to open it up. And she was always a humanitarian before this. I just didn't want to come at her with that right now until she can be better because she can't even think about doing anything until she can get better because she can't do anything well that's coming up we are so close to the q arc it's just unbelievable so i know i know it's so exciting so yeah i mean next month is it's going to be here before we know it very wonderful wonderful thing you know and then the the actual full healing bed is going to be here before we know it too right? oh that's what i mean the qr the whole thing oh my god and then i guess all you guys that are admin are going to be going up to salt lake or something to get going right well they want to test it on us us right because yeah. they're going to test everything so we can make sure that we can set the member expectations up correctly based yeah. on our experience. Okay. Well, you know, when I talked to Chrissy, I, uh, the lady with Parkinson's was sitting there go, I'll be a Tesla. And <laughs> she's ready to go to Salt Lake too. <laughs> I just, Chrissy said, well, she's, she's not an admin yet, but <laughs> my friend can't wait. And so that'll be wonderful. So. Yeah. That's wonderful. She'll okay. Probably, she'll probably go under me. In loved one society, you know, as some kind of director for a healing center for the quantum healing beds. I think that's probably the way it'll go. Perfect. Yeah. And you'll have plenty of funds and you know, be able to set it up just perfect, I'm sure. Yeah. So we need our directors. That's, that's right. Very important. That's right. So I, I'm pretty sure that's what you become because you've already got the facilities and so. You know, who knows what will come first, Love One Society or Quantum Healing Beds in terms of that kind of funding. We don't know yet. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. Awesome. Well, my darling Kay, thank you so much for spending time with me. And I'm so happy that you are off your walker so you can take care of your lady friend and also feel, you know, no pain yourself. That's, that's amazing. Honestly, it's a miracle for me. And, you know, it was such a weird case not getting healed. And then it was just one morning, all of a sudden I was walking down the hall. I said, where's my walker? How am I doing this? <laughs> it's a big mystery. <laughs> well, and now you can delight the doctors, you know, and say, Hey, <laughs> you think I should tell them the truth? I'll yeah. Okay. I will. Why not? They're all so darn skeptical of anything, you know, but they can't believe it. I'm waiting to walk in being 30 and then everybody will believe it, you know, but anyway, yeah, I've seen medical miracles from natural healing, but I certainly wasn't getting it until I got this device. Yeah. Facts are facts. You know, I mean, your pain just disappeared overnight and overnight. Thank hallelujah. <laughs> that's right thank you tracy thank, thank you, you Kay. doing the job that you're doing thank it's you. such a oh my gosh this is just such a god thing that i landed here so yeah.